Welcome back everyone to my Pez 2020 Master League with Manchester United. We're about to head into the final game of 2022. The last game of the year. And hopefully we can finish it on a high with a win away to West Ham. Let's have a look at the club rankings. We've gone up quite a few places. We were down to about 30th if I remember towards the end of last season. So we've uh, we've done well to get up to 19th. But that's still not good enough. We should be a lot higher. We should be up. A club the size of Manchester United, we should be up by 4th, 5th, 6th, somewhere around there. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, wow. Jesse Lingard has won the best player in South America. And he says it's a huge honour. Fair play to him. If you remember, we did sell Jesse Lingard. I think it was at the end of Season 1, start of Season 2. And it looks like he's finally living up to his potential. Good on him. So our next game is away to West Ham. It is a must win. We're still two points behind City. We've just got to keep making sure that we, we do what we need to do. And fingers crossed City have another disaster like they did against Southampton in the last episode where they lost 3-0. So looking at the uh, team sheets then, Leverkovic starts in goal again ahead of Dean Henderson who had that massive blunder against Palace in the last episode. wan Saka and Williams as our full-backs. McTominay starts alongside Pogba and Bruno. And Sancho, Martial and Rashford all start today. Paul Pogba has been quite the leader on the pitch for us as of late. Rashford rattled his man. It's a good effort on goal. Maguire almost got to that. It's full for Lanzini. It's a jetty. He's going to go for goal from there. Oh, wow. Throw taken. Ooh, nice little uh, back flick there. Here's McTominay to find Pogba. Asking questions of the keeper. Martial dropping deep. Pogba through the middle for Rashford. He's round his man again. And Rashford this time has found the back of the net. It's 1-0 United. That might be something we could exploit. Cardoso doesn't seem very uh, lively to that move. As you'll see here. Rashford just rounds his man that first touch and pings his shot away. Scott McTominay finds Pogba. Let's see if we can do that again with Rashford. Yeah, it's worked. Rashford's in. Oh, it's two. Oh, my word. Can we keep exploiting Cardozo, who seems very docile, very fatigued, and not quite sure what to pin it on? But he can't keep up with Rashford here. First touch round his man. Bang. Goal. Felipe Anderson with this free kick. It's off the post. Very close to drawing a goal back here. The Hammers. Wambasaka. Let's have another good quality ball into the box. It is. And it's fallen for Bruno Fernandes. Keeper well off his line. He knows that could have ended badly. The keeper. It's a good win. It's a good win. It's another job well done for Manchester United. It's finished 2-0. All thanks to uh, Cardoso. So, still two points behind City. That's that's okay. We, as long as we keep winning, we've just got to hope that somewhere, somewhere down the line, City are going to have another disaster of a game in front of goal and they're, they're going to drop points. We've just got to keep hoping. But for now, we're still two points behind them. So, the year has come to an end. Here is the team of the month for December, and we absolutely dominate it. Rashford, Pogba, McTominay, Martial, Williams, Maguire, Leverkovic. It's not very often we see one of our goalkeepers in the team of the month. So, Leverkovic, fair play, well played. He's taken that title from the likes of Alisson or Donnarumma of Liverpool. Hasn't been too bad. I think we've uh, been quite successful, really. Apart from that game against Palace here in the month of December. So uh, overall, then, we played a total of seven matches. Won six and only lost the one against Palace. But yet, it just seemed like such a huge loss. Such a huge game to lose, if you know what I mean. Uh, which allowed City to go in. Fortunately for us, City did drop points the, the week after. But apart from that, it's been a fantastic month. A fantastic month for goals scored. Rashford with six, Martial with five, Pogba also getting in there as well. 
we didn't see too much of Haaland in the month of December even though we did feature in quite a lot of games um, you just found it difficult to find the back of the net unfortunately mid-season review I think this is probably the, the best we've been over the course of the last couple of seasons in this series up in second two points behind the league leaders at the midway point so the transfer window is open it's a brand new year and we've just brought in John McGinn from Aston Villa I put this deal together just towards the end of the summer transfer window and it, it didn't cross the line so he had to stay a couple of more months with Villa but he's now officially signed and he adds to our squad depth here at Manchester United Paul Pogba wants to aim higher that's what we're going to be doing and we've got a few negotiations here with McTominay, Rashford, Fred, Elvedi, a bit of housekeeping we've just got to go ahead and uh, renew their contracts as they were coming to an end at the end of this season that'd be awful if a team like Juve were to come in and nick Rashford off us for free because we know they're interested they've already put in an, an official bid and we'll just go ahead and accept Elvedi so he's signed up to a new contract again I know I keep saying it but it's like a new signing in itself really getting these players tied down for the next couple of years so there's McTominay Rashford is a must our top goal scorer so far I will have to have a look at the uh, goal rankings very soon as we do reach the midway stage of the season all oh, that transfer offer still outstanding isn't it from Palace for Lindelof there's Fred's contract extension. He is tied down here at United then. And Diogo Dallo has opted not to renew. He's already on the transfer list. We've just got to wait for a team that's uh, interested in him. Now, I did see Twan Zavi's name. I'm pretty sure I renewed his contract. Where is he? Yeah, 2026. It's the first game of the new year of 2023. We're away to Brighton. Should be an interesting one. It's a good chance again to take our frustrations out on a lesser side. As that game against Palace, I keep thinking back to it. Imagine where we'd be if we'd have beaten Palace. We Well, because City lost to Southampton in the last episode, we would be top now. But yet we still find ourselves having to play catch up, having to, well, keep up with City. But anyway, let's see what today's game brings. Here's the lineup. Levikovic starts again. Twan Zabie's alongside Maguire. Twan Zabie's been so comfortable on the ball uh, in the games that he's started. So he deserves a start for today. More pie. I know what you was planning to do there. Trying to find the run of Ruiz. That has worked in the past. Not today. Luke Shaw finds Bruno Fernandes. Oh, he slipped. Oh, oh I thought that was going to maybe dribble into the, the back of the net it has happened before happened against Wolves earlier this season for us he slipped on the shot takes a deflection keeper fooled oh, if that had just gone in Rash returns Ooh, good punch away Sancho to McTominay here is Pogba wants to aim higher and do that by starting with a win here today Martial finds Rashford is in oh it's a Rashford world and we're all just living in it it's 1-0 here away to Brighton have some of that it's a great ball over the top though from uh, Anthony Martial nicely weighted gets round Eric Bailly former United man should know what it's like to come up against Marcus Rashford should know better but he fails to keep up and Rashford makes them pay. What a goal on the volley as well. Right across the front of goal. Pogba. Bruno. Nice little first touch there. And Martial, you don't see it very often. Bruno out wide to Wambasaka. Always oh, round. Round the full back. Wambasaka in for Martial. It's a glancing header. And he's just gone over. The keeper had to jump. It was a very inviting ball. Wambasaka's got so much better at those crosses. Bernardo. Oh no, it's a late challenge. Oh no. It's definitely a card yet. Yeah. Get to that. Oh, well done, Rashford. Sticks his foot out. Great interception. Wins the ball back, Bruno. Great hold up a play. 
through the middle here from Maguire to Martial. It's Paul Pogba on the move. Through for Bruno. Strikes it first time. It's still shaking that back post that holds up the net. It was struck with Venom. Went with power over placement. And it's just fizzed past the target. Pogba out wide. Slightly overshot that. And it's back to Pogba. Nice little play there from Paul Pogba. Oh. He's done so well in the build-up, Paul Pogba there. To skip past the challenge of the defender. Absolutely does him here. See you later. It's a pity he couldn't find the back of the net. But it's going to be a Manchester United corner. It's a chance to double our lead here. We're going to switch that to Bruno. Why it's gone back to Pogba, I'm not sure when it should be Bruno. But Bruno's going to swing that in. It's in for Scott McTominay. It's gone in. Scott McTominay has doubled our lead. It's 2-0. And what a way to celebrate his new contract by scoring what could be the winning goal that gets us those all-important three points here away to Brighton. He's had quite the eventful game. He's already in the referee's book. And now he's gone and got himself a goal. It's quite the performance from him today. Does well to rise above everyone else in the box. Well, on comes our new signing, John McGinn, to replace Scott McTominay, who's been brilliant today. Let's see what he's capable of then. And the Saka charging forwards here, going and challenged. Proper doing his best. Oh, brilliant from Haaland. It's through for Marcus Rashford. He's in here. Oh, he's put it wide. Should be in the back of the net, that. Should be doing better. But again, United, that one-touch football from Haaland. It's an art on Pez, if you uh, can really get it going. And just like that, it's another win. It's another three points for Manchester United. We need to keep this up. It's finished 2-0. And it's another clean sheet for Leverkovic. Leverkovic didn't really need to do anything today. Brighton had no shots on goal. Oh, my word. So how did City get on? Oh, come on. That's what we wanted to see. I didn't know they were playing Liverpool, who have done well to turn their season around. They're up into the European spots and they've gone and drawn against City, which means we are top of the league, but level on points with City. That feels good. I know we're level on points and there's still a lot of football to be played, but after, after the last episode and how frustrating that was, to think that we've we've managed to turn things around, shown that character. Still all to play for, but we're going to hopefully keep up these winning ways. We're in the race for the Premier League. We're still in the Champions League and we're still in the FA Cup. Now, the FA Cup is something that, well, we haven't been very successful with over the last couple of seasons in this PES 2020 Master League series. So I've gone for quite the strong side for today's game against Watford we're in the third round and a win here will see us into the quarters things are a bit different on Pez uh, with the FA Cup and the whole tournament layout uh, normally we would go into the fourth fifth then the quarters then the semis and then the final at Wembley but things were a lot different they are what they are on Pez so we're just going to work with it we're really there's no excuse why we can't be making the final there's only a couple of games to play really in the FA Cup so hopefully we can continue with a win here here is Bruno I suppose I could have found Erling Haaland but finds Chong instead Erling Haaland great header did the keeper get a touch to that I think he did I think that's going to be a United corner it's a decent header look how high Haaland gets off the, the ground to head that one gets the power behind it and it's not going to be a corner. Why is that not a corner? They classing that as hitting the post. Caput trying to bring it down there. Finds the core rate. Who knocks it on. Maguire comes forward. Finds Bruno first time. Bruno through for Erling Haaland. First time it's into the bottom corner. It's 1-0 United. Most half an hour gone at Old Trafford. And that's strange as well. Because normally with FA Cup games on Pez Master League. We're playing at another ground. Uh, a neutral ground. We were playing at Old Trafford, but that's a great goal from Erling Haaland. It's cheeky. It really is. The way he just caresses it past the keeper. Placement over power there. 1-0 United. 
Pereira. Such a formidable foe, really. They are at bogey side, Watford. As well, Beck look to get shot away. Can we get rid of this, please? This danger. Kapu. Almost lost out to Bruno. They still have the ball. Fossi Mensa brings it down. Loses it. We win it. We lose it. Thankfully, Twans Avey comes forwards and puts an end to it. Will Hughes finds Queener. Here's Pereira. He's going to hit this. Yes, he does. Levakovic looking lively, though. His shot's going to have to be a bit better to make Levakovic work, get him sweating. And so far, Watford have failed to do so. Here is John McGinn. He's going to stroke this one forwards for Brando Williams to run onto. Where's their fullback? It's okay with me. As Williams whips it in and finds Marcus Rashford at that far post. It's two. What an assist from Brandon Williams. John McGinn. That powerful ball forwards for Williams to run onto. They're playing so narrow, Watford, and it's cost them dearly. John McGinn. Oh, what a ball that is. Looking for Rashford. Oh, keeper well off his line. That could have been nasty. Studs were up and everything. Oh, look at that from Rashford. It's three. And it's game over for Watford. It's Erling Haaland. Didn't have the best of months back in December, but he started January off the right way. Look at the Rabona from Rashford. It's cheeky. It's beautiful. Love it. I'm just going to look to see this game out now. All about that game management. We're 3-0 up. Don't want to do anything silly. And we have here. Levakovic off his line. Oh, come on, referee. That was a good challenge, that. What about the, the challenge from the keeper at the other end earlier on? Levakovic goes into the referee's box. Is this referee serious? Let's see it in slow-mo. Oh, actually. Okay, fair enough. There was more into that challenge than there was with Wat Watford's keeper earlier in this half. And Pereira steps over and Pereira scores. Of course. It's 3-1. It's a goal back for Watford. Time remaining also. Could be a real... If they get another... It could be a really nervy end to this FA Cup tie. Well, it's ended 3-1. We are into the next round, the quarterfinals of the FA Cup. Thanks to Erling Haaland being that clinical striker that we've come to know and expect. So, we are into the next round and we will play, going by that tournament tree, Arsenal in the quarterfinals. It's one to look forward to. But that's it for this episode. Hope you guys have enjoyed. See you in the next one.